Hey everyone, welcome back to another awesome Flutter tutorial. In this today's video, we are going to learn how we can display the local notification in our Flutter app in both Android and iOS. Here you can see when I click on show notification, it will display the awesome notification with sound. You can also see the sound of this notification. By this way, we can easily display the notification with, with different title in our app. At the same time, I'll also put the source code link is in the description. I have mentioned as in everything, project structure, configuration file and all the source code. You can copy it from here. Okay. After, after this demo, let's start the complete video. Okay, let's start the complete video. You are already know what we are going to do. We are going to implement the local push notification in our Flutter app on the both Android and iOS device in simple and easy way. This is my brand new Flutter project until now. I didn't do anything we are going to do everything from the scratch now first let's start from the adding package we need this package to achieve the local notification it is one of the flutter favorite package and this package is awesome its documentation is also good okay from here if you add this package in your way i will prefer command shift v control shift p8 package and flutter local notification okay and after that you need to set up for your environment it will mention if you are currently is in android then you need to set up for android and you need to set up for ios if you are using ios but in today's video we are going to do this for both the platform okay android setup if you read it it will mention that what you are required to achieve the local notification if you want to schedule a notification then this permission will be required but you have required a simple instance notification then you didn't need to do anything for android but only thing that will require your android need to be 13 at the current time everyone android simulator and, and real device will be more than the android 13 version okay if you are just trying to implement the local notification then you didn't need to do anything for android but i'll mention one things okay i have tried it before recording the video with the latest update of flutter some of the system require is core library is enable in some device it will be not mandatory but it will be optional in some device it will require okay but in the current update in some device it will be already there in when i create my flutter project it will be not there that's why i'll add this line and this dependency that will be the required thing that you need to edit in your android build gradle but this things is not mentioned on the documentation that's why i have mentioned it here at the same time keep in mind you need to add this version more than 2.1.0 that's why i'm using 2.1.4 version android implementation will be completed let's go for ios setup for ios setup here is mentioned what it will be required if you didn't want to read this all then click here it will provide you the github repository link and here it will mention that you need to import flutter local notification in your app delegate.swift file then open the ios folder runner folder inside the runner here you can find the app delegate.swift first import the local notification here second things is copy this this line and add after this bool add these two line and this line is already there after this line add this two line copy it from here and paste it here that much easy it is okay and just save it and leave it from here now your ios setup will be also completed this is the setup and configuration part that we have completed i have mentioned is and everything that will be required during flutter local notification implementation okay one thing i'll forget to mention you here is the a blog article related to it and i have mentioned everything that i forget something and all the source code will be available and i have also mentioned here configuration process and all the source code is here notification service main dot dot home screen all the source code is available here from here you can easily copy the source code if you are unable to write it okay let's continue the video after that create the new file notification service dot dot first let's complete the notification service part then we'll initialize and call it on the home screen and main screen first i'll start from the creating the class and give any name that you are familiar i'll give the notification service as a name first we need to initialize this 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 method must be called before showing any notification okay and usually you can call it inside your main or in your app init state 
it set up notification setting for both the android and ios first start to initialize for android for android here we tell android which icon to use for notification const android notification initialization setting first let's import the notification package here then android initialization setting i'll give the icon path will be the default okay i'll show you where the icon is currently located if you want to change this icon then you can also achieve it i'll make this name shorter go to your android app source file main areas inside it you can find all the icon location here this is the ic launcher.png default flutter logo from here we can get it if you want to change it you can easily change it but i'll make it as default for now okay now android initialization will be completed let's for i initialization on ios the user must give the permission for notification sound alert and badge those boolean and request those permission request alert permission i will set all this permission will be true if you want to mute it then you can set all of this notification setting will be false but i need it i need sound i need all out message that's why i'll set it true we have initialized both of this now we'll combine it initialization setting we have initialized for android and ios now we are going to combine this both okay android will be the android setting for ios ios setting now initialization part will be the completed next main things will be we need to initialize the plugin with it okay we need to initialize plugin with this notification service let's create the instance for it final flutter notification local notification plugin will be the notification plugin this object will be used to show cancel and manage the notification okay i will initialize it with the plugin now let's activate the notification system for the app i'll make it await notification service plugin dot initialize all the initialization part will be the completed next we'll simply show the notification next steps will be the show the notification this function display the notification immediately and this function require the id title and body id will be the unique id i'll set it zero string title will change this notification title during call it on the home screen if we miss to set then we i'll set the default notification title will be the notification and the body of this notification same as title i'll also set the default body of this notification this will be required when we will miss to set the notification title and body then it will show this default notification title and body during notification display now we'll set it the android notification setting this define how to notification we have on android device i have set the channel id and channel name will be the default channel next i will set the channel description priority will be the higher priority i have set the higher priority and so will be the true means show the time stamp android notification setting will be completed now next ios notification setting for ios notification setting we need to display the all out box we need to display the change app icon and play sound next steps will be will be combine android and ios notification setting okay we will combine both the notification setting 
to show the notification first we have a android notification we have a ios notification we have combined it now last steps will be the we have displayed this notification with notification plugin so title id id title body and notification detail that we have already set it here also one thing that you didn't need to forget cancel the notification notification will be appear and hide but in the background not this notification will not be cancelled that's why we need to cancel this notification from the code as well we'll use notification id to cancel the notification and just use the notification plugin that cancel easy this is for specific notification cancel the specific notification and next we'll cancel the all type of notification all the process will be same all notification instead of this cancel we will cancel all if we cancel all then id will not require if we are cancel specific notification then id will be required okay that's it all the process will be completed we have initialized it first we have initialized the notification plugin and create the initialization function initialize it android and ios combine it and initialize it with the notification plugin we have do the same process for swing notification android notification setting for ios notification setting we have combined with we have set it with notification plugin and we have cancel specific notification and we have cancel the all type of notification now we are is in the last stage of the notification display we need to initialize the notification service in our main dot dot before that we need to ensure widget binding is fully loaded widget flutter binding dot ensure initialize after widget binding is initialized we'll call the i'll make this main function async we'll call our notification service notification service dot initialize that's it initialization process will be completed next i'll create the home screen here and inside this home screen we have created the one elevated button if we click this elevated button then we have show the notification okay body center child elevated button let's remove the cons from the scaffold inside the home screen we need to do just one thing we need to call the notification service to show the notification notification service dot show notification okay if we didn't pass any notification title and body then default notification will be display if you hover here you can see if we didn't pass the notification then title will be notification and body will be the this is the notification message let's pass it hello okay everything will be completed if your app is already run then first terminate it then run it again okay because we have i have updated some gradle file we have updated on app delegate swift we have a new package that's why we first we need to terminate it if we terminate first then it will ask the permission i'll remove my app that i have previously installed now new app will be installed it here app is already run successfully first here it will ask the notification permission do you like to allow the notification permission if you didn't allow then your notification is not work i'll allow it oh i think i'll forget to set our home screen inside the main screen let's set it home screen now it will be display our home screen with button show notification button if we click it here you can see hello this is your notification message will be display and it will it will disappear after some time but at the same time if you didn't set any notification title and body here still you get the notification with the default notification title and body that we have set it in our notification service class notification this is the notification message that's why you need to set a default message sometime we forget to set it during call i have said the background color will be gray that's why notification will be display clearly okay you can see now the notification will be display clearly okay at the same time i'll also show you is our app perfectly working on android or not i'll start my android emulator and 
when it will be run i'll show you on the android as well okay our app is successfully run on the android as well you can see the app is perfectly run it on the android you can if you can analyze it it will it will didn't ask the android permission why i have already run it if your app didn't ask the permission then and go to your app setting here sometime this will also happen that's why i'll want to mention you this type of error waste your whole entire day okay go to your app info and from here notification permission i have give the notification allow if i didn't allow the notification permission from here and if i go to the app my app is already terminated it will didn't allow the permission for you to send the notification that's why you need to give the notification permission here most of the time it will ask the notification permission if your app didn't ask the notification permission then didn't forget to set it we have denied the notification permission i'll open the already install app and so you can see notification will be displayed perfectly this is your notification message i have used microphone that's why sound is not appear but i can listen this sound if i make my microphone to external then if i send notification then sound will also appear by this way we can you can see sound will be loud on ios by this way we can easily implement the local notification in our flutter app okay bye, -bye. we'll meet you on the next video and i'll put the source code link is in the description as the vlog form from where you can easily get the get all the source code